morning here in Alfred Bay. We are getting set to take off on another 170 nautical mile journey up to Long Island and then hopefully do more day jumps. But we were uh, pretty tired last night. The anchor alarm went off and we're in this totally secluded bay with reefs and it's hard to tell without any kind of fixed position the boat is moving. So uh, we didn't sleep very well last night. And we are off. Another passage. I feel like we're doing uh, passages every other day these days. Man, we're moving. We we're moving. moving northwest, which is what we need to do. And uh, we're doing it while we have Steve. Um, he's an incredible help. We're able to do three shifts instead of two. And um, we're making the most of having him with us. Yeah. Uh, right now, we're on the way to Long Island, yep. which is one of the uh, outer islands in the Bahamas. Yeah, and got another day with no wind, uh, flat seas. Again, we love the flat seas, but we are burning, burning the fuel. We're using one engine. Uh, we're using about a half a gallon of diesel an hour and we're moving at about 5.3 knots. Also, we have the air conditioning. Oh going. my goodness, it is so humid it in the Bahamas. It is so humid. You can see just the moisture all over everything. The air is just so heavy with uh, moisture. So we've got the air conditioner running. And, and the great cool thing down. is we've got, we, we have 2,800 watts of solar. And so now the sun's coming up and we're actually gaining and charging the batteries, even with the AC running which is really using our system to the utmost. Yeah. It's showing a lot of flexibility, a lot of power, so we don't have to run additional generators for that. And it's interesting because one side, we've got one side going because that's all we can run off the batteries. And it's really cool in the whole boat. And the important thing is it's also dehumidifying, which everything's got kind of a wet film on it. And I'm, I'm impressed with how well the system's working. Yeah. I'm on the six o'clock to nine o'clock shift. It's been a completely uneventful, quiet day with calm seas, no wind. It's a new day and we have just come to the coast of Long Island. You can see the tip right there. We're really excited. We are three hours away from our destination, which is Clarence Town. We are headed into the anchorage. Every anchorage in the Bahamas is dicey. This will be no different. But enough boats are in there to give me the confidence that they figured it out. So hopefully we will too. I'm so excited. Brown has got in to check the anchor. He said that everywhere are sand dollars. Look at all the sand dollars. Oh, they're my favorite. They're everywhere. It's such a pristine anchorage. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Look at them all. That's amazing. Wow. shells sitting in bleach water right now getting nice and white this is one of two churches here in Clarence Town that are pretty well known it is featured on the covers of most Long Island brochures 
and was designed in 1939 by the late Father Jerome Hawes. The twin 40-foot towers are well-known landmarks on Long Island, guiding mariners into Clarence Town Harbor. The magnificent altar, backlit by sunlight, casts inspiration from its brilliant design. St. Paul's Anglican Church was built in 1884, also by the late Father Jerome Hawes, who later converted to Catholicism in 1911. Fixing your boat in beautiful places, isn't that what cruising is all about? Oh yeah. How much room is there between your... Having so much fun <laughs> in here. I look at these beautiful sand dollars that we got. There are thousands of them underneath our boat. And I'm so excited, they're my favorite shells. Very exciting, time to go get more. Ah, we just went for a swim from our boat over there. We're headed to that beach there, and it is absolutely beautiful. There's sand dollars everywhere. How beautiful is this? Are you loving it? Loving it. What's there not to love? Yeah. The water is just perfect, clear, white sand, and um, it's just I've never. I've seen it's very few places have I been that are just this natural and it's rustic. It's not like a Disney Island Carnival Cruise type island place. It's just untouched and raw, raw ready, and rugged. just real. Yeah. yeah, and very few people out here. Time to go pick up some sand dollars. Oh, yeah. 